Hey everybody, this is Total Gamer Junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So before this video starts, I want to give a shout out to Dr. Daniel who let me know about this. We have a new Life is Strange novel on the way called Life is Strange Heat Waves. Now, um, in case any of you are a bit confused, let me explain. This is this book, like Steph's story, is set in the game universe. Whereas the comic that I'll be reading next month is um, in the comics universe, which, oddly enough, you know, takes place after the first game, but doesn't follow any of the events, what, what happened afterwards, you know, Sean and Daniel and whatnot, but like, you know, it's a multiple universe, one of millions, but, um, what, so I read the synopsis about this, and I gotta say, it's not by the same writer who's written Steph's story, but when I was reading this, I'm thinking, oh god, really? Like, I am gonna read it, but it's just, it really is like, I don't know what I was expecting, because ri writers these days, like, I'm not saying I'm not a good writer, I can be cre quite creative stuff, but not, like, a novel and bad, but just, just listen to this synopsis, and I'll let you determine, like, if you think it's good or bad. An official spin-off to Life is Strange True Colors featuring beloved characters Alex and Steph trapped in a small town's climate disaster. Alex's powers are tested against a dying hope for a sustainable future. So, you can already tell this is going to be about climate change. And so, Alex and Steph have left Haven Springs in the rearview mirror to travel the country, chasing the horizon. Though they don't have much money, they have their guitar and drums and each other. But when their vehicle breaks down, they are stranded. Their only hope, a repair shop in a struggling town in the middle of nowhere. The town is dealing with a severe drought after an extended heat wave wreaked havoc on local crops, plumbing, plunging its inhabitants into poverty and water rationing. What remains of its essential resources are being diverted to indulge the local senator gathering support for their out-of-touch political campaign. Feeling the anger and despair of the town's inhabitants, Alex and Steph are compelled to do everything they can to help, but when Alex uses her powers to amplify the senator's fear of the climate crisis in the hopes of galvanizing their support, her plan backfires and emotions spiral wildly out of control. Alex and Steph now need to find a way to revive the hope of a failing town and resurrect its history of political action to save the townsfolk and themselves. So already you can tell, because this is like a big thing um, that was happening in comics a while ago, I don't know if it's still happening, I haven't been paying attention, but the last time I heard of, well not just comics, in novels as well, but the last time I heard of um, like climate change was in that, um, what's it called, that John Kent comic where he's, where it's Superman's son, he's gay son, they, they make sure to emphasize that in the comic, and he instead of using his powers to help save people, he's fighting climate change, which I just, it's just a really stupid comic. Like, I, I didn't read it, like, I know what it's about, and I've heard people review it, but it's just, it's so dumb. But I am going to be reading this, it's out April 9th, 2024, and if you think about it, it's not really a long wait, because next month is going to be the first issue of Life is Strange, Forget Me Not, and if history is to repeat itself, like the original Life is Strange comics, it's going to be four issues, then wait a bit, then another four issues. So each, so it'll be December, January, February, March, four issues. Then once April comes along, it'll be this book. And I'm not going to lie, I am curious to see how events in Haven, String, in Haven Springs played out in both the book and the comic. Because in both of them, it's a different timeline, but Alex and Steph end up together. And I'm interested to see what each writer for the comic and novel are going to say about the characters there. Like Ryan, for example, I'm curious to see how he's mentioned in each version of it. Uh, but anyways, that's really all I wanted to talk about. I have more videos coming up later. And I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as you enjoy the videos I'll be uploading. This is Tall Gamer Junkie, signing off.